forward this guy told me he was like you are too fat americans don't like fat people Ghanaians like to body shame too much they will call you out they will pick every part of your body and talk about it hi guys welcome to the channel so today's video is gonna be a really quick 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 quick, quick video it's gonna be like my diary section because i haven't done it in a long time where i address taking care of your mental health i'm gonna be addressing also misconceptions of being a Ghanaian, also living in the u.s and one of the things that i hear a lot being local and also like speaking your native language so i'm gonna tell you guys the basics of why i choose to like speak my native language a lot chi and also why most people might see me to be local loud or even however they choose to see me as but this video is gonna be talking about everything so let's start off most people like addressing me as local because i speak chi a lot most people like to address me as being loud whatever other comments they want to make but let me tell you why i choose to speak chi a lot and why i'm not ashamed of speaking chi in public or elsewhere so i came here in middle school where the culture was not really like as open or people didn't want, really want to go to like ghana people didn't want to be african people despise being african like i'm not african i'm born here so i'm, I'm american most people like to claim that but i came here at a young age where people would make fun of africa would say um you guys live on trees yes believe it or not i experienced that kind of comments the booty scratcher the whole thing that was our generation or i would say my time or when we went to school and we hear people say this so i chose to be myself and also represent where i'm from a lot especially when it came to the language i spoke in school my food like everything so most people were like when their mom came the nigerian them, their moms would not let them speak the english like some even chose to let their mom speak their native language and reply to them in in their language right but the Ghanaians was worse most Ghanaians wanted their parents to speak english to them whilst they also replying in english but i remember in middle school my mom would come and i would speak to to my mom and everybody would stare like and very everybody would stare so i i kind of feel like why is this not allowed because i would see spanish people come to school pick up their kids and speak spanish to their kids but when we spoke like chi it was viewed like i don't know it was viewed in a different way i don't know the word to describe it and nothing hurts more than when you know that your own Ghanaians were the people behind the agenda of not speaking chi because it makes you look local because i remember this Ghanaian lady i'm gonna say in chi told their kids I will trade over and catch you. It's just a bro for now. And mind you, you don't even speak that much of good English to tell your kids to speak key. So I then I then I will address it. I decided to become the village champion. I decided to be the local champion and represent all the people who lost speaking chi, who wanted who wanted to speak chi, but were not allowed to. First of all, chi is not a bad a bad language to speak. But most of the time when you speak chi, you view it as being local. You've been a, you view it as crassini, you view it as, I don't even know the words to describe it. But I choose to speak chi by purpose. Like, I choose to speak chi. Intentionally choose to speak chi. I intentionally choose to speak chi. Not because I can't speak English. But chi is too sweet not to speak. But I don't understand the, the reason behind it of being too local. There are people in Ghana who speak chi, but choose to speak English at home with their kids. Which makes no sense because I feel like... We have come a long way in terms of culture and when you look back into history we're not seen as anybody we're seen as nobodies so i don't know why that you've gotten the opportunities to speak chi and represent who you are that you view the language to be local not only chi we also have multiple languages in ghana like ga and whatever else but most people choose not to speak that because it's local yeah i'm your village champion no guy i will represent i will speak chi i will overdo it because the treatment we went through when we came here, especially the time where Africa was not Africa, people didn't really appreciate people who were from Africa. 
and you see people your color but they will claim to be african americans people of your culture but they will claim to be african americans because they don't want to be under the part of like the whole african community like i don't want to be african it was just as that people just didn't want to be africans i don't even know how to address this but this is crazy i love ghana and thanks to my grandma and the people who raised me they raised me to be a proud lady who appreciates my culture who understands my culture and want to learn more so if i'm being local because i want to appreciate where i'm from allow me to be local and people out there i'm telling you if you love your native language and you feel like speaking it speak it don't let people don't please people don't try to be too americanized for people be you represent speak your language i mean i've seen and heard it a couple of people stare at me really strangely for speaking chi because everywhere you go you're speaking chi 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 you're too loud people would say it's my face like why are you speaking chi hey what the chi in kwa na moka and i'm on tip of fana it's like people would look at you weird and i'm like i come to your home right let me give you this example i come to your house and your child you speaking broken English, you speaking English that don't even make sense to your child. And you speak perfect Chi. And your child re replies you back in English. And sometimes you don't even understand what they mean. Like, you don't even understand what they mean by whatever they're telling you back. But you choose to speak English when you know you're struggling like myself to speak it. When you could choose Chi, I did this to speak to your kids. I mean, most of the time, I do blame their parents for, the, like, for put it, for putting in their mind that Chi is a very distasteful language and you shouldn't speak it, or even your your local language makes you a villager. Cause, I mean, I don't know why. So that's that with the Chi thing. But now let's address the whole Ghana and body shaming thing. Ghanaians like to body shame too much. Ghanaians like to body shame too much. Even if they 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 moved from Ghana to somewhere else, they still like to body shame. It's like it can like it follows them. It's like something they have to say. They like to body shame too much. So personally, me in Ghana, I've seen other people when I was a kid and when we were young. I've seen my uh, friends get bullied or called names like Obolu, Tin, like Tian Tian, Wundi Di, What did you do? Do it's like it's those comments like you eat too much, you don't eat a lot, you're too skinny, you're too fat. Ghanaians who constantly no I will not say Ghanaians most Ghanaians who constantly make these comments about people's bodies I thought I thought it would stop it didn't stop all. so I think around this time I was going for admission um for my college that I was going to so I was gonna look around the school to see if it fits me so the person driving us decided to take us to this um place where it was um, um a priest so we went there and then we sat give us food and everything but the whole day i haven't eaten like i didn't eat anything so i was hungry so i decided to grab a snack on the table and whilst i stretched my hands forward this guy told me he was like you are too fat americans don't like fat people <laughs> and i was shocked and at that time i'm not gonna mention names but whoever was sitting next to me didn't defend me but it was fine but it, at that time, I feel like I was still building myself. I mean, I'm young. I don't know anything. I think I was like 12 by then. No, no. Since it's high school, I'm going to college. No. I was probably 16, 16, 17, 17, 16. So I was not, I would say my brain was not matured to some extent. That when I came home, I was crying. <laughs> I cried because I was like, I was just going to eat. And I felt like I, I, it was so much anger built in me. That the only thing I could do was cry because I didn't want to be rude to the guy. It took me so much not to be rude. So I came and I cried. I'm like, and I also feel bad for not defending myself. Like, why am I not telling this person? Like, what you said to me is not right. Why are you telling me I'm fat? Like, bro, do you see your stomach? You have a pot belly. Why are you telling me? I had so much anger in me. Like, I wanted to go down on them, but I was like, I choose to be respectful in this situation. I chose to be respectful in that situation and I moved. But up to now, I feel like I should have went back and defend, and, and I said something because what if he says it to somebody else and they don't handle it as much as I handle it? 
I should have said something. That's how I felt then. But this person, mind you, this person was Ghanaian. And it was a Ghanaian who came here to do like priesthood or what, something, however they do it. So I was like, it don't really leave them. They take it with them. The childhood mentality, calling somebody who blew, what did you do? It don't really leave them. One thing I've studied about America, Americans are not perfect, but when it comes to body, like body positivity, they will make sure they promote it. They will tell you, you're beautiful, you're confident. You see these people rocking their bodies, doing whatever they want with their bodies and not get criticized. But one thing about Ghana is they will call you out, they will pick every part of your body and talk about it. Some Ghanaians, so we don't offend everybody. They're not willing to like adjust or move. Like if we in 2024, they still in 1900s. I feel like they're not willing to like evolve. Like as time moves, you gain more understanding about certain things. They not, they still stuck with it. I will tell you, I will still go to Ghana and somebody will probably say something about my body. Somebody would probably tell me I'm getting too fat, I'm getting too slim, I'm getting too big. There's a they will pick something and they will talk about it. That's one thing I've, I've noticed about Ghanaians. So this diary session, if you're a Ghanaian and you're watching me and you say certain things about people, I want to give you the chance to sit down and reflect. If possible, go to the people you offended in the past, even if you didn't think it was offensive, go to them and say, oh, I remember I said this about your body. I'm really sorry and I apologize because I feel like nobody sits there and talk about somebody. You don't even know what it's like the most it was probably one of the most down times they were facing about their body and then you go say something about it we have to be like we have to think towards certain things we have to know when to not talk ill about people's bodies that's one thing i'm gonna say and also the whole standard thing so that's that for ghana but for america it's more like they critique on the little little things especially me i'm hairy so see my hair i'm very hairy like my, i have hair on my arms my legs and in ghana i was not thought to shave my arms i was not thought to shave my legs but in america they would tell you shave your legs you too hairy but i was never i was never told like i, I was never told that in ghana being hairy it was kind of a compliment you get compliments for being hairy because you're beautiful the way you are but Americans will pick point everything. Your nose is too big. Your lips is too big. But now, the lips they used to complain about is now a trend. People are getting lip fillers. So I feel like there's nothing they could do to please Americans. Because years to come, body hair will become something that's attractive. It's beauty standards, guys. Like They have their own beauty standards. So you should have your own beauty standard for yourself. So that's what I choose to go with. Americans have their own faults and everything. And lastly, let me address this. Why is it that when you wait for me to come to America before you DM me? Before you tell me you know me? Like, oh, remember me? I was in class four. Like, I was in class six. I was in I was in KG. Yo, you, my mom and you used to be friends. My mom's friend, Santi, auntie, cousin, cousin was your sister. These people will bring something to make sure they know you. Why? It's America heaven. If it's not for Ghana's economy, America wouldn't be heaven. It would be the same. But the way you guys be switching up, the moment people land in America is really questionable. All of a sudden, you know me? You know me, sir? Follow me on Instagram, DM me on Facebook and everything. Y'all are funny. You guys should appreciate people once they still around you. Like, America is not heaven. It has better opportunities, yes. But that shouldn't be an excuse to treat somebody better because they're here. That thing, they need to stop. Yeah, but I'm laughing, I'm on air, and I'm fun. It's not fine. And I rest my keys. So this is the end of the diary section. I hope I was able to open up a little bit to you guys. So this diary session is going to be like, should I make it? Like two weeks, two weeks. And I, let's see how I could stay consistent with this thing. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. This is Sis Day's channel once again. And we out cheer. We out. Sometimes you go too far